But first, 13 Action News is getting results for some people in a senior neighborhood who reached out to us for help with some squatters. And tonight, we took their concerns straight to the community's management and property owner. 13 Action News reporter Masa Saidi has the action you should take to solve this in your neighborhood. A neighborhood with no peace. Seniors on edge for over 30 days. The whole idea of moving here was to retire and to have more of a sense of security. And I'm always looking because I'm scared of those people. Those people alleged squatters. <laughs> On Wednesday, neighbors turned to 13 Action News after they say they hit roadblocks at every turn, from the property owner to the HOA. There's not too many options that we have to remove the squatters. Your hands are tied. Yes. Barbara Holland manages the HOA, her hands tied because of state law. The property owner has to do the eviction, not the association. The problem with this house, the owner and her representative, Jean, have lost interest. When I spoke with Jean, she said she was not going to be evicting anyone, and she told neighbors she was not going to be evicting anyone, which is why we got involved. On the phone, both Jean and the property owner confirmed the squatters, but they just want us to drop it. We are going to continue to do news stories about this because we're working on behalf of the community. They're elderly. They don't feel safe. Finally, the owner has a change of heart. So on Monday, you will be filing an eviction with the sheriff's office? A promise we will stay on top of. In the meantime, what about all the other squatters and all the other neighborhoods? The way we solve this is by altering the eviction process. We have to, we have to change the law. And she says you have to contact lawmakers, write letters, include pictures, provide specific examples of how squatters are invading your community. Essentially, you want to find a lawmaker to become an advocate on this issue and introduce a new bill next session. Carla. Thanks, Masa. And we got results for those neighbors, and we can try to help you too. We have compiled a database with all of your email complaints. We've also assembled a squatter task force, and we send your complaints to our contacts. So if squatters have taken over your neighborhood, we want to know about it. Just send an email to squatterspotters at ktnv.com, and please include your name and your phone number.